In today's video, we'll take a look at how you can use a combination of video effects and overlays to help create three unique looks for your project. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Serge and welcome back to my channel. Today, we'll take a look at three unique looks for your video, including a dreamy wedding look, a rough grungy look, and an old school 8mm look. To achieve this, we'll be using Final Cut Pro's built-in effects, some light color grading, and video overlays. Let's jump into Final Cut Pro and get started. First, let's take a look at how to create the soft, dreamy look you often see used in wedding videography. Using slow motion can really enhance this effect, so if you can, shoot your clips at a higher frame rate. The clip I have for my demo was filmed at 120 frames per second, so in a 30 frame per second timeline, we can slow it all the way down to 25%. Select the clip and use the keyboard shortcut Command R to bring up the Retime menu. From the drop down menu, select Slow, and depending on your filming frame rate, select the slowest speed you can. In this example, we can go all the way down to 25%. The next thing we need to do is duplicate this clip. With the clip selected in your timeline, hold down the Option key and drag up on your clip to duplicate it. With the top clip still selected, press V on your keyboard to disable it for now. Open the Effects Browser, and from the Looks category, select and apply the Dream effect to your bottom clip. In the Inspector, bring back a bit of the cooler colors by dragging down the Opacity slider to about 75%. Select your top clip, and press V to re-enable it. Go back to the Effects Browser, select the Blurs category, and apply the Gaussian Blur effect to your top clip. Up in the Inspector, drag the Blur Mount slider all the way up to 100%, and bring the opacity of your top clip down to around 50. To sell this look even more, we can add some soft floating particles over a clip, and this would be a perfect place to use a video overlay. I get all my overlays from Envato Elements. With a huge library and unlimited downloads, 99% of the time they have exactly what I'm looking for. Let's head over to Envato's website and see what we can find. Select the Stock Video tab, narrow down your search results to just motion graphics, and let's try searching for wedding overlays. Hover over any of these clips to preview what they look like. The first one here seems to be exactly what I'm looking for, so let's download this for our project. All these video overlays are just specialized video clips, so there's no need to install anything. Just import the files into Final Cut Pro, just like any other media. Select the overlay clip you want to use, and add it as a top layer to your timeline. Depending on the overlay you download, it'll either have an alpha channel, in which the background is transparent, or like in our example, a black background. There's a really simple way to remove it in Final Cut Pro. Go up to the Video Inspector, and from the Blend Mode drop-down menu, select Screen. This removes the black background, leaving us with just the elements on top of our video. With just a few simple steps, we went from this... to this. Next, let's take a look at how to create a rough, grungy look for our video, exactly the opposite of our last effect. With the clip selected in the timeline, let's first apply a quick color grade to it. We want to add more contrast, so open up the color inspector, bring down the shadows, and bring up the highlights. Remember, we're going for a rough look, so it's okay to crash a few shadows and blow out some highlights. Next, from the effects browser, select the color category, and add the colorize effect to your clip. Up in the video inspector, remap black to a darker brown, and remap white to a lighter shade of a similar color. Let's go back to Envato Elements and find an overlay to layer over our clip. Type in Grunge Overlay, find the one that looks good, and import the overlay clips into Final Cut Pro. Select your overlay clip, layer it over your timeline, and change in Blend Mode to Screen. This is what we started with. And here's the same clip with effects and an overlay applied to it. And last, let's use a video overlay to replicate the super 8mm look. Select your clip in the timeline, and in the effects browser, from the stylized category, add the super 8 effect. Now let's go to Envato Elements, 
and download a Super 8 overlay. Type it into the search box, select the one you want to use, download it and import it into Final Cut Pro. Add this overlay over your clip. This time, instead of removing the black background, we'll remove the white. This is just as easy. Select the overlay clip and in the inspector, change the blend mode to darken or multiply, whichever looks better with your clip. This is the clip we started with. And here's the finished result. Using video overlays is an awesome way to add some style to your video. And with a subscription to Envato Elements, there's a ton to choose from. But that's not all. A subscription to Envato Elements also includes over 1.5 million stock video clips, more than 3 million still images, royalty-free music and sound effects, video templates, motion templates, and so much more. All for only 33 US dollars per month. And if you get an annual subscription, which I would strongly recommend, you get 50% off. You can have unlimited downloads for just over $16 a month. That's a hell of a deal. Thanks for watching. I'll see you back here next week.